Hi YouTube, welcome back to Julie's Roots and Shoots. My name is Julie and today I've got just a pretty quick little seed unboxing for you guys. I got these seeds from M.I. Gardener. He has his end of the year seed sale going on so all of this was 50% off, buy one, get one, some, some code like that. So today I'm just gonna let all of you guys look at all of the seeds I got. Buying seeds on sale is pretty much how I got almost all of the seeds I have, either sales or doing seed swaps. And I think that's just an absolutely economical and frugal way to save money, absolutely. I'm a very money conscious person and I just, when it comes to seeds, I, I can barely help myself. So I know right now and my gardener is doing a grab bag sale where you get 30 packets of seeds for 20 bucks, I think. So I think his BOGO sale is done and now he's just giving you 30 random seed packets for 20 bucks. Which I looked this morning and it was sold out already. So I think every week he is going to have this grab bag sale. So if you guys are interested in it, please go check it out. I've done it before and um, like most of the time you usually get a good variety but expect you're gonna get like a lot of lettuce and you know just kind of the more uncommon things that people really like of course you'll probably get like some tomatoes or peppers but this is just like all the seeds that he didn't sell this year so just a, a forewarning there for you guys so let's open this wonderful little package um i think i spent it was less than $20 for these seeds. I think it was maybe $17. So in here is the stack of seeds. I got 17 packs. And my gardener sells his seeds for $2 a pack. So 50% off, this was $1 a piece. So for $17, 17 packs of seeds. And I've had very good luck with MI Gardener seeds. Uh, and most people I know have had awesome luck with it. Like, I have no complaints. I highly recommend M.I. Gardener if you are on the lookout for seeds. So let's go ahead and go through these. I'll start with, I, I think I only got one tomato. For what he had in stock, I got this pineapple tomato, which is one of my absolute favorites. I love the color and the flavor is just really yummy. It reminds me of like an old German if you've had that. It's a uh, yellow, orange, red tomato, so it's, it's low acid and it tastes really sweet. I do love eight ball zucchini squash. These things are so fun to grow. And like, it's just so cool cutting up a ball of zucchini into like quarters like you would an orange or something. Just something a little different. It tastes like regular zucchini, but I do love this. And uh, the seeds I had saved cross-pollinated so they weren't true to seed because I grew a bunch of varieties of zucchini. Next year I'm going to try this golden hubbard squash which is a smaller winter squash and it says it's an outstanding winter vegetable and prolific. I got some turnips here. I've got golden ball and purple top. I've grown turnips once before and they were okay i didn't grow a whole lot but what i did harvest i roasted them with it was the first time i had ever roasted root vegetables like beets radishes and turnips and it was actually pretty good so trying more turnips i've got a regular purple top rutabaga so again just like i've got a lot of these root vegetables here I have never grown parsnips before. So next year I'm gonna try parsnips for the first time. I've got radishes. So German giant, French breakfast, and China rose. These all look very yummy. Very excited about these ones. I've grown china rose and french breakfast before i've never grown this german giant which looks like just like a big fun ball of a radish moving through these 
I am trying to grow Serranos because I love Serranos for cowboy candy. I've done, the first time I ever made cowboy candy was with Serranos and maybe that's just why I like them. But since I've done it with jalapenos, it's okay. I just feel like I like the texture and the size of Serranos better than jalapenos. So I'm gonna try those. I want to grow my own dill for pickling cucumbers. So I've got some mammoth dill. And then I was really excited about my dried bean harvest this year. So I ended up getting more dried beans. I've got, excuse my pronunciation here, but adzuki, which is a little red bean here. And this says it's an East Asian staple. So these are smaller beans. I've got a Mayflower bean, which I thought was just really pretty. And then a Painted Pony bean. So that's, I'm pretty excited about these. Then the last two seed packets I have here, these are basil. I've got Siam Queen. I don't know how to pronounce that. And Cinnamon Basil. Very excited to try these ones. I love basil. I I think for these ones, I'm mostly trying to use them for tea. Not, I'm not sure what you would use to cook these with, but I'm sure someone out there has a recipe for them. So that's it for my seed haul. It was pretty quick, just 17 packages here. And honestly, some of this is, you know, it's more than what I need. But again, I just can't help myself when it comes to seed sales because and my gardener's already got a good price for his seeds and on sale it's just even better so please if you guys know of any more seed sales going on i'd love to hear about it if you could just let me know down in the comments i would really appreciate that i hope you guys are out there saving your money buying seeds now and these seeds will be perfectly fine to use for next spring so if you buy them now you won't have to spend extra money on brand new seeds for next year Thank you guys so much for watching this fun for me little seed haul video. I really appreciate you watching and I will see you on the next one real soon. Bye.